Hello Pana friends, in this video we are going to take a look uh, at my media journal. I actually filmed a setup video for this but it never made into YouTube so <laughs> um, I already have a couple of pages in here that I want to show you and I also want to talk about the media that I consumed in March. It is almost end of March um, so are going to just jump right into it. This is a B6 Stelogy notebook. Um, if you if you're curious about that, it's grid and it has this like month and day thing at the top that I don't use. It also has um, hours, so it can definitely be used as like a kind of a planner. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people use. Um, these strategies for that i just had it laying around uh empty and i needed a notebook for my media journal so i just grabbed this one so the first pages are a to be read and to be watched list um currently on my tbr is the anthropocene reviewed uh, 101 essays that will change the way you think and the her body and other parties and then i have a long list of movies that i want to watch uh maestro the zone of interest dune 2 all of us strangers clearance of the flower moon past lives the iron claw poor things everything everywhere all at once the color purple fight club i never saw fight club <laughs> can you believe that um air uh, the power of the dog and the career now this is where the uh, pages about media that i already consumed start so we're going to start off with fourth wing and iron flame i read these in actually like um december um i started this one in december and ended it in january and then i started this one in february and ended it in march um i know a lot of people love fourth wing and iron flame i enjoyed fourth wing i gave it three stars um iron flame was a bit of a struggle for me to get through i feel like it needed a little bit of editing it was too long um and i did not really like the relationship dynamic between violet and satan <laughs> um i felt like it was a bit forced and much drama out of nothing just to have this like still kind of enemies to lovers situation which i feel like did not really work in the second book i really liked it in the first one this is also one of the reasons why i enjoyed this book much more than iron flame so yeah i do not really get the hype um if you love these books this is by no means a criticism of your taste or anything like that. I know a lot of people love these and maybe my taste is just off. It's just my opinion. It was not for me. It was a bit too YA for my liking and I did not really like any characters very much except for the dragons. So yeah, that was Fourth Wing and Iron Flame, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a third one and a fourth and a fifth and movies and whatnot. And I'm definitely not gonna read the the next book because, to be honest, I'm just not interested in how it's gonna continue. I did not really like the ending of Iron Flame at all. I'm not gonna um, tell anything about it because I don't want to spoil it, but. I just didn't really like the big revelation at the end so yeah that was that i am glad i um, read them just to see what the hype is about and to see if i would like them i just unfortunately did not <laughs> so the next page is about anatomy of a fall which is a movie and um it was very much hyped i feel like on the internet I watch a lot of like Oscar prediction videos and this one was definitely on the top of the list of a lot of people. Um, some people even, even like thinking it could maybe even be best picture, <laughs> uh, which did not happen obviously because Oppenheimer won, which is big, big heart for me. So I was very excited to watch this movie. 
uh i thought it's going to be amazing it is a legal court drama kind of thing and i love those kinds of movies and it is about uh, a man that dies under uh like mysterious circumstances and the wife of the man uh is suspected to have been murdered him and she's on trial for that and yeah i <laughs> I really wanted to really love this movie. I really liked it, but it was not as great as I expected it to be. It was. It is a lot about uh, not knowing and not knowing what to believe. Um, and you never figure out if she did it or not, which is, I think, the point of the movie, which is fine with me. Um, yeah, I don't know. It did one best original screenplay, though, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, I liked it. <laughs> I really, I really thought it is going to be a five star movie for me, but I gave it four stars. So that's that. Um, next we have My Year of Rest and Relaxation, which is a book. Um, and as you can see, I gave it five stars. <laughs> and I really thought that this is not an unpopular opinion. But apparently, a lot of people hate this book with a passion, <laughs> so maybe my taste is crooked somehow. I really enjoyed this book. This was a book, like, after Fourth Wing and Iron Flame, I felt like I wanted to know what happens. I couldn't put it down. I just wanted to know how it ends. So that was just, like, such a good feeling to me, because after Iron Flame, I thought maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm not a reader after all. <laughs> Because it was such a hassle, like, getting through Iron Flame. And it was also so long and so boring at parts. I really was, like, thinking about not finishing it at all. And this book just gave me life <laughs> when it comes to my reading. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, the characters are not likable and they shouldn't be. And if you did not like this book, I totally get why. I have some problems with it. Um, and I might even, like, actually give give it four stars instead of five, but I already colored it in, so there is no going back. I think I gave it four stars on Goodreads, um, after all, because I can change the rating there. But I still, like, I really love this book. Um, I could relate to the main protagonist, um, even though she's like very unlikable and maybe I am an unlikable person as well. I don't know um, But I have been um, like battling depression um, and anxiety like <laughs> my whole life I feel like and so I Feel like depression is like different for everybody and a lot of people wrote um, About this book that they could not relate to the protagonist even though they have depression and I think that's a valid point. Um, I could relate to her with my depression. So it's just, I think it's just like a personal thing. So for me, it was a great book. I liked it. I did not like the ending <laughs> at all, at all. Um, I did not like the Reva or Riva, I don't know how to pronounce her name, um, ending of the plot line at all i did not feel like that was necessary in this book at all and the ending of the main protagonist i also did not really like it was just i think it dragged on for a long time about her depression just to be like solved in a couple of pages so i just felt like it was a bit hurried but all in all i really enjoyed this book it was it was a fun read for me so the next the next book we are going to talk about is the psychology of money which is a non-fiction so um with non-fiction books i like to take notes while reading it just so that i have access to the notes um afterwards i read a lot of library books which i obviously have to give back so i can't like look into the book like that easily uh so this one um this one I took some notes here and then I wrote a little bit of like about the book all in all how I liked it. I gave it four stars. It was an easy read but 
it was not what I expected it to be. Um, I thought psychology of money, it would be more about like, um, I don't even know, like <laughs> personal psychology of like how we feel about money and how our, our mindset and like our childhood and whatnot um, plays a role in how we handle money today but it was more about investing and how people are like uh, taking their money when the market is going down and you know just stuff like that which is fine it was just not what I thought it would be and I am not at a like spot in my life where <laughs> this advice would be relevant to me so I'm sure it's gonna be great advice for the future I thought it was a very well written book there were a quite like some chapters not a lot but a couple chapters where i did struggle understanding what the author was saying probably because i am not really well versed in investing so i don't know a lot of the terms that he used but all in all i like this book uh, and it was a quick read so also took a lot of notes as you can tell so i gave it four stars and i actually own this book so i'm gonna go back to this once i am in the spot to invest. Next one is the Billionaire Buddha and um, this is actually, this book has two parts. The first one is reading and then the second part is a 28 day challenge which you do like one day at a time and fill it out and do the exercises. So I finished the first part and wrote about that and took some notes and I rated that one, like that part, four stars. This is actually a book um, more about our like attachment to money and our how we think about it and how to change that like how to fix our relationship with money uh which is what i hoped this book would be about so if you want to read a book like that this is not a like very well known book at all i just googled financial therapy because i felt like is there something like financial therapy because i do feel like i have like a crooked relationship with money which I would like to fix and like work on. And there is a thing like financial therapy, but it's very like in the beginnings and not very well known. And there are not a lot of therapists that do that. But this book came up in that search somehow. So I got it off of Amazon and I actually did kind of like it. And I am going to do the 28 days challenge. So yeah, the next is an empty page because I did not watch Maestro yet. I'm probably gonna watch it today, <laughs> uh, actually. Um, this one was also one of the Oscar favorites. Uh, it is directed by Bradley Cooper and it also stars Bradley Cooper in the main role. And it was nominated for a lot of different um, Oscars, like Best Picture, Best Actor, Actress, Screenplay, Cinematography, Makeup and Sound. And it did not want any of those, but it was nominated. And this movie was the, um, I don't know, the, everybody hated this movie. <laughs> and people felt like Bradley Cooper made this movie just so that he can win an Oscar, because this is a type of movie that would do well at the Oscars. Uh, and then it kind of flopped and did not win anything. So I now just, I'm just curious to see if this movie is actually bad or if people just hated on it because Bradley Cooper wanted an Oscar. <laughs> so it's still empty. And then uh, we have The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, this is not a current movie, um, but it is on Netflix and it should, be, I, I heard that it should be good and it was going to like be taken off of Netflix. So I thought, you know, now is the last chance to watch it. And I had no idea about this movie at all. I did not know that it was based on books. I did not know anything about anything when it comes to this movie. I did not read trigger warnings. I did not do anything that sort. And I sh probably should have because this is like a, this is a hard to watch movie. Uh, it really has scenes which are, which I, I mean, I am fine with a lot of stuff, um, with like very like explicit things. And I feel like I I can handle that. And this movie, I could not. <laughs> uh, 
there is like there is like a scene um with the girl um and i really i was like you know i was chilling on the couch eating ice cream watching the movie having a good time and then this one scene came up and i was i literally i could not i, I had to cover the the laptop screen with my hand and even then just the sounds of the scene like really made me i don't know nauseous <laughs> i literally had to put my ice cream away i could not eat anymore it was it was really bad um which was surprising to me because usually i can handle all kinds of stuff uh so yeah um i don't know what was going on but this movie was really <laughs> it was really kind of something there is also like a very very bad scene with a cat which i love cats so that was also not great so yeah I did enjoy the movie, even though I'm talking a lot about these traumatic scenes. I did enjoy it. It is like a murder mystery, which I always love. Um, it is a thriller. I don't, I don't know. I just did not like the I did not like the ending of this movie either. I, I, the last scene was weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I already did three stars. It was fine. Uh, I just. I don't know. It was a lot. So just be prepared if you're gonna watch this movie. Then I watched Little Women. Little Women. I can't talk. But I knew a lot of people loved this movie. So I was really excited to watch it. And it's by Greta Gerwig. Who also directed Barbie. Um, and I am also not a huge fan of Barbie. I know. maybe As I mentioned. Maybe my taste is just off. But I don't really... I liked Barbie, it was funny, I don't feel like it was as meaningful as people try to make it be and I am a woman and I did not feel like it was somehow helping me um, so, but I was still like excited to watch Little Women I had no idea again what this movie was about I never read upon it, I did not research it I just knew it was going to be like a wholesome movie, hopefully. Uh, it did, it's just the, the poster and everything just gave me like um, Pride and Prejudice, Prejudice vibes, um, which is one of my favorite movies, the one with Kira Knightley. <laughs> and so I thought, yeah, you know, maybe this is going to be something similar. And it kind of was something similar. Um, and I actually really enjoyed this movie. Uh, my favorite character was Laurie. Uh, I know I probably should have loved Joe. I thought she was a bit annoying. <laughs> so Laurie was my favorite one. Um, and this movie actually won best costume design. So that's that, but I love this movie. So uh, it was better than the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. That's for sure. <laughs> and I think I watched this like right after this one because I felt like after this movie I needed something wholesome and so I put on Little Women so yeah I actually I actually did like it it was a good one it was a nice one and then the last page for March is Mamma Mia here we go again which I could not fit here so I put Mamma Mia too and I love the first Mamma Mia uh, so so much I just have like very nostalgic good feelings about it which is why i was afraid watching this one because i was quite sure that this one is not going to be to be as great as the first one and yeah it was not as so i gave it two and a half stars um and i also know that people actually love this one more than the first one <laughs> so i don't know what's wrong with me um but I just, I don't know, probably I'm biased because I have like such nostalgic feelings about the first one. And I also just missed Meryl Streep in this one. <laughs> and Lily James is playing her as like a young uh, woman. And I did not really like her that much. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like this one was a bit more annoying. And people were like breaking out in songs 
which was a bit more like unrealistic i don't know i don't know i can't really put into words i just did not really like it that much um but it was fine it was a fun time just not the greatest so those are all the books and movies from this month i started this journal on the 13th of march so yeah that's why there is not a lot in here uh now let me quickly talk about like suppliers and such you probably see a lot of stamps in here um i got those from aliexpress i'm gonna link the stamps um down below and then what i do is i print out the cover of the book or the movie poster and just put it here and then there are these little um stickers um which are from the grimoire club on patreon this is from one of like a very old like sticker sheet from uh that patreon and um it was actually just um this one like genre author and title and the stars um so for books but because i knew that i'm gonna also wanna put movies in here and albums i actually like made a version in a different color with like genre director and title so that i can put movies in and i also made like here are the sheets that i made i also made some for like music albums um so these are all like different colors so that i can like different differentiate between books and movies and albums so that's that i'm going to leave the patreon but you're probably going to have to search a little bit in like the older sticker sheets to find like this one sticker on like a whole sticker sheet um and i think you're probably gonna need like a higher tier for that uh, so that you have access to the older stuff um, but yeah that's that and then I wanted to talk about some um, stuff that I'm going to like enter into this book uh, in the near future I am still reading Oppenheimer uh, or American Prometheus actually um, which is the book that the movie Oppenheimer is based on um, I just sometimes need a little bit of a break because it is like a it is a non-fiction um book which is like interesting but sometimes i just want to read something else and it has like a lot of cute pictures in it so i feel like that is like super great and i really love this book and i am going to <laughs> finish it at some point hopefully um, but there is this one, The Courage to Be Disliked, which I listened to on YouTube as an audiobook, and I really enjoyed it, and now I'm going to, like, I requested the library book, the hard copy, uh, so that I can look into it again and, like, get some notes on this book, because it was a really good one. So I actually already finished this, uh, but I, I am still waiting on the hard copy so that I can make a page with notes uh, so that's why it's not in here but definitely recommend this one it's a very interesting read um, it is about Adlerian psychology which is like um, it is from a guy named Adler and you probably knew about know about Freud and Jung and Adler had like a completely different view on life and psychology so it's very interesting and it might be also a bit hard to hear so so i actually liked it so that's just what i wanted to say i am also reading tiny traumas which i started like last year sometime and then i like did not continue and now i am continuing it so i am already like halfway through of this so I'm gonna definitely finish this uh, soon. 
and then these are the movies that i want to watch next everything every, everywhere all at once fight club <laughs> finally and the power of the dog um so that's why i printed these um movie posters and i also found crime and punishment by dostoevsky as an audiobook on youtube and what i want to do is i am also getting the physical book and I'm gonna read along and listen to you the audio. So it's gonna be fun, I think. Um, so yeah, that is what's in store for the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you did enjoy this video, um, maybe give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I also have an Instagram if you wanna follow me over there. It's also in linked in the description box. And other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye!